Malaysia was apparently a much happier country last year, according to the World Happiness Report 2019, which called it a significant loser this year. In 2018, Malaysia was the 35th happiest among the 156 countries surveyed by Gallup World Poll. This year, however, the country took a massive tumble, falling 45 places to number 80 globally. As for its regional ranking, Malaysia places fourth within ASEAN, trailing behind Singapore placed 34th, Thailand at 52nd spot, and the Philippines ranked 69th. Finland was the happiest country on the list. The World Happiness Report was produced by the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network in partnership with the Ernesto Illy Foundation. The report ranks countries on six key variables that support well-being. Income, freedom, trust, healthy life expectancy, social support and generosity. The government will be tendering out at least 3.2 billion ringgit worth of projects this year, involving renewable energy and energy efficiency projects. Energy, Science, Technology, Environment and Climate Change Minister Yobi Yin says part of the projects to be tendered includes the retrofitting of 50 government buildings this year with EE practices worth 200 million ringgit. Making up the bigger chunk of the pie is RE projects, which amount to 3 billion ringgit in total. Yo says there will be a net energy metering project worth 1 billion ringgit, excluding feed-in tariff RE projects. This project will be awarded on a first-come, first-served basis. The 3.2 billion ringgit projects include the open bids announced last month for 2 billion ringgit worth of projects under the third cycle of the large-scale solar scheme. Yo's ministry has appointed the Securities Commission to form a green financing task force to study, evaluate, make recommendations and action plans on its initiatives. She says the SC will submit a report to the ministry at the end of July and hopes to get its recommendations included in next year's federal budget. The government has confirmed a report by The Edge Financial Daily that it is looking at taking over the 29 billion ringgit Panborn Highway project and ditching the project delivery partner regime in favour of the turnkey contractor model. Deputy Works Minister Mohammad Anwar Mohammad Tahir says Cabinet will make a final decision by month end. Currently, talks are ongoing between Putrajaya, represented by the Works Ministry and MOF, and the Sabah and Sarawak state governments. It is understood that the decision was made in light of cost overruns under the PDP structure. Sabah Infrastructure Development Minister Peter Anthony had reportedly said the move would save the government up to 2 billion ringgit. Borneo Highway PDP is currently the PDP for the Sabah portion of the highway, whereas Lebuh Raya Borneo Utara is the PDP for Sarawak. BHP is 60% owned by Warisan Tarang Construction, which is perceived to be connected to Sabah AMNO and former Chief Minister Tan Sri Musa Aman. Meanwhile, LBU is seen as linked to Tan Sri Bustari Yusof, a tycoon closely linked to former Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Razak. Finance Minister Lim Guan Eng has clarified that the government has no intention to impose windfall taxes on banks and said his remark made earlier this week had been taken out of context. However, he stands by his statement that banks need to be more flexible in lending. This is because banks are making so much money so they can afford to share a bit. On Tuesday, Lim said that lenders must be flexible with giving out loans unless they prefer windfall tax. Lim cited the many complaints lodged with regards to difficulties in obtaining loan approvals due to the lender's very conservative stance. The windfall tax is a levy imposed by the government against certain industries when they experience large unexpected profits thanks to economic conditions. National car maker Proton will be establishing a manufacturing assembly plant in Pakistan, its first facility in the South Asia region. According to Bernama, Proton will be doing this in collaboration with its local partner, Al-Hajj Automotive. The agreement was reportedly signed last year. 
High Commissioner of Malaysia to Pakistan, Ikra Muhammad Ibrahim, was quoted as saying that Proton believes there is huge potential for its cars in Pakistan, whose population stands at 210 million. He says the assembly plant will be set up near Karachi in the southeast Sindh province. The groundbreaking ceremony of the facility will be witnessed by Prime Minister Tun Dr Mahathir Mohamad and his Pakistani counterpart Imran Khan tomorrow. According to Ikram, the construction of the plant is one of the important elements of bilateral trade and investment relationship between the two countries. Last year, total trade between Malaysia and Pakistan stood at 5.91 billion ringgit, an increase of 2.5% from 2017. Pakistan is Malaysia's third largest trading partner in South Asia.